I absolutely love the Camtasia software for video editing, screen recording, capture, and everything in between. There's so many features, it's easy to use, great quality, and today, which is June 4th, they're set to release Camtasia 2024. I am really excited and was able to get access early to check all the features out and watch a couple of their webinars. Now, I will say that there are so many features built in that are still there, but also so many that have been enhanced. One of the big enhancements comes to the recording engine, allowing you to record up to 4K, 60 frames per second, and ultimately just look awesome and perform really, really well. The other great thing about Camtasia is that you're recording these different screens. So I'm recording the screen here, but then I'm also recording this. So if I wanna go back and forth, I could easily do that. Now they also keep going with Camtasia Rev, which is this really awesome engine that they have where you select Rev to go, and as you shoot the video and wrap it up, it does so many things to pretty much automate your editing for the most part. So you got templates you can choose from, you can do tons of different things just to save you overall time and get going. And then if you're not happy with it, once you have it on the timeline, you can switch everything around. So let me go ahead and just show you real quick. This is on TechSmith's website. Now TechSmith has also, I believe they released a few different variations to the subscription levels. And they also have this assets library that has millions of assets that you can also subscribe to, but there's plenty that they include for free. Now, if you do that subscription with them, those assets are all royalty free, tons of tons of things. So you have so many options. Now, like I mentioned in the 2023 video, I use other video editors, whether it's on my mobile phone or something that I've used in the past, like, like Premiere. And that is because that I've used that for so long and I'm just so comfortable. I can edit with my eyes closed for the most part. However, Camtasia 2024 from the idea of screen capture and video editing and all the tools. And even if you want to do audio where you go get Audio8, Audio8 which is another tool from TechSmith, this, this software is just becoming an editing powerhouse for, for, for everybody from small creators to big creators and something that is well worth the monthly cost depending on which level you go with. Let me just go ahead and look at some of these things where it pops out, talk about the rev feature. You can do all these screen captures up to the 4K 60 frames. Um, if you use Camtasia Audio, you can do generate scripts and you have voiceover options with natural AI. And they're using a lot of, of AI features now to really enhance the speed of editing and do a lot of these other type of effects just to make everything streamlined and much more smooth and easy to use for the end user. So here we have it loaded up and the great thing about Camtasia is if you're either just getting started or you're an advanced video creator, they have so many tools that pretty much will allow you to do everything because it's this all in one package that just has grown to something simply amazing. I love everything. The interface is not only easy on the eyes, but from a video editing perspective, really straightforward. You have access to everything right there in front of you. So let me go ahead and show you some of these quick features that, that I saw and some things that I just really like off the bat. So one of the quick things that they did here is gave me the option to move these anywhere you want. So if you use some of these, you can go ahead and change that easily based on how you're using it. Now you have obviously like we saw a voice narration, which was there before. So if you want to put your script, you can do a voiceover, very easy to do. Then we have things like audio effects. So if you want to work on your audio with some of these, they're relatively basic effects, but you do have a lot of uh, editing features there that you can work with. So even if I wanted to do something like this and just drag it down, you'll see that on the right hand side, we have some of these options to really just, you know, tweak it a little bit. However, if you want to get more enhanced and more detailed, I would highly recommend checking this out. I've watched some videos. I have not personally tested Audio 8 yet, but I plan on doing so. But just watching other videos, it has some really great features that integrate with Camtasia. And that would definitely make it an ultimate tool for you, getting both video and professional audio qualities. So uh, cursor effects, they've done some things here uh, as far as cursor glow, cursor highlights. 
Uh, obviously, you can do uh, your path. So if you want to see where the cursor is going, stuff like that. But then they've added some other things here. So let's see if I can do this real quick. So with that, if I go, I can increase. I got to find the cursor where it's at. So if I do that, so we see the cursor right there, but I can do stuff like if I want to increase the thickness, the speed of it, or all those other options. And a lot of times in the past, um, they had, I guess, a lesser or not as many options for some of these cursor effects. So now you can really highlight those effects. And if, like I said, if you don't like it, you can always go ahead and turn it off. But then you can also change the color, things like that. So if I want a different color to highlight, very easy to do. Under behaviors, obviously you can do all these types of animations with the video if you want to do that. Kind of cool if you want to do that. A lot of times I don't <laughs> typically use them, but they are there. They are there. So then we also have zoom and pan features and then uh, additional animations. So if you want to do opacity. Now, the one that I love is this smart focus. For the most part, you drop it right on there and then the program itself will analyze the video, what's going on, what you're talking about, what you're pointing at, and it will essentially figure out where to put different keyframes and zoom into different things. And you can go back and edit it. Really awesome. Now, one thing I will mention here, this background, so this is all done with the Rev feature, but I can go in, I can change anything I want. So if I don't like this dynamic background, the colors, I can swap it out to something because they're all on different layers. Same thing goes here. If I wanna use a full screen shot, great. And now having the capability to have a 4K video makes it even better. Also, we have our traditional transitions. You have things like different wipes, but then you have things like just dissolve, depending on what you wanna do. So really, if you're not doing a screen capture or maybe you're going to screen capture and you're importing other video you shot, you can still essentially use this just like a standard professional video editor. Visual effects, so we do have background removal effects. Now, um, it does work pretty good, and you do have a lot of features here. Obviously, that cut out a lot of me that you see there, but if we increase the different options here, we can get uh, better quality and drop. Now, the thing is, like you'll see the wall behind me there. If I was on a solid wall, it's gonna work even better, and you know that's gonna make it look almost seamless. So my background's not too bad today, but sometimes I'm like, I really don't want that background, so I could drop it out depending on what I want to do. And that could be great for a lot of you out there too. So that has really been enhanced and has been working really well. Uh, one thing I did mention to their uh, marketing team was I would love to see like a portrait mode that uh, whether it's an effect or something like that, whether or not that's going to come out, I don't know. Now you can do that through a couple features here using the background drop and probably putting a blur behind it. But I would just like to see a quick filter where I can do a portrait mode and kind of get that soft focused layer just behind me if I can't achieve it with my camera. That would be something hopeful that hopefully we can see in the future or just uh, an easier way to do that. Um, here's another feature that they just launched. This is the tiling feature. Now when they talked about it, it's, it's kind of silly, but I could see a lot of people using this so you can cut tile it. So we have our visual effects filters, annotations. If we want to drop an annotation somewhere here, we could easily just do that. And then you can write right in that. Pretty cool. Take that out. And those are different uh, annotations as far as call outs, arrows, lines, shapes. You got all these different features here. It's so easy to do. And if you don't use that much, just drag it down to the bottom. Not a big deal. So one other thing that I really like are the caption capabilities. So this is using AI for captions. And I will say that while you can get this, the software to learn your voice, it does a pretty good job drawing out the captions. So you can see, let's see. So you'll see right there, the dynamic captions and you have all these options to select what you want them to look like. So once you have that, if you're like, oh, that's not what I was talking about, we can go ahead and we can either change what it looks like from this side here, or we can click into it. And let's just go do that. See where that is. 
I select the audio that it's captioning from, and then we're good. So if I'm like, you know what? I didn't say anything, right? I said, or I want to show differently. Maybe I want two words for some crazy reason. So if that's the case, then if we go back here, we'll see that it generates right there. Pretty, pretty cool. So you have the capability to edit all of that. Now, if you want to do some more advanced features, you're going to have to check out that TechSmith Audiate or Camtasia Audiate, and you can do a lot more things with AI. You can do voiceover. So if you have a script and you're not comfortable using your own voice, you can do that. Um, so that seems like something that's going to be really cool and uh, a great enhancement to videos out there. Now, the editing features down here, you have a lot of the, the normal editing features, but you can dra drag and drop normal videos from other sources. You don't have to just do screen recordings. And all this, the speed to me, has seemed like it's been enhanced and is working better than the past version and versions before that. So between that and having the option to record 4K video, that is really a big thing too. Now, now, one of the other options here that I do love is this connect to mobile. You download the app and then you can record right on your mobile device and it connects to it and it drops it right on uh, your, your media file or your media bin and then you can use it. That was so easy to do, which you could see in my 2023 review. But just overall, just checking out a lot of these new features and enhancements. I am loving this. I'm excited about the upgrade and be able to take advantage of this. So this is the Camtasia library. So you have things like audio visualizers. So if you do a podcast and you want a visualizer or something like that, you can grab that uh, counters, bunch of different options here. And then they do have even bigger libraries where you can sign up to that uh, additional um, library or asset library for the royalty free stuff and you get tons and tons of features but there's so many things here let me just show you what the audio bars look like so if i want to do that you can see it already loads it and as i'm talking how cool is that that would work perfectly if you had a podcast and then dy dynamic backgrounds there's so many options here I absolutely love it. You can see these backgrounds. So if I want to change that, you can just drag it on there and you can switch it out, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to take that out. See if there's anything else on here that I seem to miss. You got access to all that. We got our visual effects, transitions, animations, so many things here. It is insane. I think that covers a lot of it. And, you know, there's a lot more features. Camtasia does, or TechSmith does a really great job with their help library. They're always publishing new videos, how to do something, how to make it work faster, uh, you know, speed up your, your processes um, or processes, however you want to say it. And just overall, I'm really excited about Camtasia 2024. You should be too. And pretty much if you're looking for an all-in-one, powerful, professional, video editing and screen capture program, then Camtasia 2024 is definitely going to be one for you.